guys, today I am actually filming in my living room. You can't really see my living room, but I'm behind my couch right now because this is where the best lighting in the house is. So I figured I would change up the location a little bit. But today I'm gonna be showing you guys how I get ready for the day. So I'm gonna be doing my makeup, my hair, and also gonna be showing you my outfit. But also today I'm gonna be trying out a lot of new products which I'm excited about. First, I'll start with primer, and I'm not gonna do a new primer because I don't have a new primer, but I'm gonna be using the Too Faced Hangover RX Primer. I love this one so much. It just feels like I'm putting a really good smelling moisturizer on my face. And now I'm gonna go in with my foundation, and today I'm gonna be actually using a sample of the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation, which I've always wanted to try, and I just never have because it's so flipping expensive. Um, but I got a little sample from Nordstrom and it came in this nice glass bottle. And I've heard that this foundation is very like liquidy, so I don't know if I should use a brush or a beauty blender. I think I might go in with a brush first. This is the color I have. I hope that this is good because if your foundation looks bad, it kind of messes up your whole look, so. Hmm, seems like it matches. Okay, so it's going on very nicely, and it seems like it's a good color match. Um, also, I'm using this Japanese kind of like foundation brush. I wanted to tell you guys that my house is almost completely done, which the most exciting part is that means that I'm gonna be doing a house tour very soon. The last thing that I had to do was this wall, like right there, you can't see it right now, but it's a huge blank wall and I needed to put pictures on it because I'm making a gallery wall. And I finally finished the gallery wall yesterday. It took me so long because I painted pretty much all the pictures that I'm using for it. But I'm so excited to show you guys. I think it's gonna really like pull the whole house together. And also, it means that I'm going to be able to show you guys my house. Also, I think that this foundation looks very beautiful on the skin. I've just heard a lot of mixed reviews about this foundation, so I was a little bit nervous, but some people, like, swear by it. Camper! But I think the main complaint that I've heard uh, about this foundation is that it doesn't last that long. Is that the number one thing, or is it that it's too sheer? I can't really remember, but I know I've heard... <laughs> Some bad things about it okay so here's what the foundation looks like I think it looks really nice okay so now I'm gonna be doing my concealer which I'm not using a new product for my concealer because this is just my favorite and I just got a new bottle of it so I gotta use it oh I didn't even tell you what this was this is the urban decay naked skin concealer also I don't know if you guys noticed or not but I don't have eyelash extensions anymore I pretty much just ripped them all off because I got so annoyed of having them. I had just had them for so long and I was just getting really sick of it. So I took them all off and I'm giving my eyes a break for a while and I do feel like a little naked mole rat without them because they were pretty like dramatic all the time. But now I just look in the mirror and I'm like, I feel like that's the real me. Like I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't feel like I have fake eyelashes on 24 seven. So. Um, I like it for now. I might do them again one day, but not for a while. But the reason I was saying that is because it just makes doing your makeup so much easier because I can just like blend all around my eye without having to worry about like messing them up and making them look weird. So <sighs> it feels very good to do my makeup like this. I'm going to be setting my face and oh, I'm using a new product for that. I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless finish in the shade 2 medium and i've heard great things about this powder i've only used it once since i got it but i think that charlotte tilbury packaging is my favorite i love all of her packaging so i'm really excited to use this i don't really have a good powder brush so i'll use this little highlighting brush to go underneath my eyes let's see if i like this this brush is way too tiny for powder it's actually a highlighting brush but it's all I got right now, so this is gonna take a while. I actually do like this powder. It's very like natural on your skin. It doesn't really look like you, you are wearing any powder. That's amazing. Yeah, I really like this. Okay, for bronzer today, I am gonna be using Hoola. I love Hoola bronzer. I'm just gonna be putting this kind of everywhere because I feel like I look very pale right now, so. 
bronze it up. So I'm also gonna be using a new blush today. This is the Too Faced Papa Don't Peach Blush. Matte peach is the cutest thing ever. It's just like a very beautiful peach color and it looks like it has maybe a little bit of shimmer in it but I can't really tell. Ooh. Oh yeah, it is a little bit shimmery. Okay, row time. Guys, I forgot to tell you that since I moved to LA, I didn't know anyone to do brows because usually I get my brows waxed, but my sister-in-law told me about her girl that threads her eyebrows, so I've been getting my eyebrows threaded and I really like it. <laughs> it's a little bit more painful than waxing in my opinion, but I think uh, it's like shaped better. You know what I'm saying? So I really like it. And this palette is a funny story. This is the tart. I never know how to say this. Tartist. I'm just gonna say Tartiste. Maybe that's it. The Tartist Pro Palette by Tarte. And it's a beautiful palette. Look at that. Look at that and it has a humongous mirror in it. Um, and the funny thing is, I got this at a tart of it, that, a tart of it, <laughs> a tart event that I went to the other week and they w had like a little station where you could decorate your own palette. And I was gonna give this away, so I wrote Love Kristen and then I decorated it. And then I got home and without even thinking about it, I swatched some of the colors. And then I was like, you can't give away a palette that you already dug your grimy little fingers in. So I'm not giving away this exact palette, but I do have a ton of things that I have compiled for a giveaway. And I think I'm gonna maybe do a giveaway soon, or maybe I'll make the giveaway like massive and do a 400,000 subscriber giveaway. So be on the lookout for that. I have like an entire bag in that room that's just filled with makeup and stuff like that um, that I'm really excited to give to you guys. So. Today I'm gonna to be using this palette that was meant to be for one of you guys. And I'm first gonna go into this like muted tan color and I'm just gonna be putting that all over my lid. And now I'm gonna use the shade Bold, which is a little bit of a darker tan color and put that in my crease and just define it a tiny bit. Ah, okay. Now I'm gonna take the shade Whimsy, which is a really pretty like muted red color. I guess that's how I would explain it. And I'm just gonna put that on the outer corners. And then I'm gonna take the shade Ethereal, which is this pretty like bronzy color up here. And I'm just gonna use my finger and put that on my lid. I always use my finger for shimmery shades because I feel like it just works better. It's a little bit easier and you get more of the color payoff with your finger. And then I'm just gonna take a tiny little flat brush and take the color Glam, which is more of a gold champagne color. And I'm just gonna put that on my inner part of my lid. I'm gonna be using a new liquid eyeliner today. This is the Super Cat Skinny Liner. Um, by Soap and Glory, and I've never used any Soap and Glory makeup really. I think I've maybe tried like one of their lip glosses, but um, this is what it looks like, very nice and sharp. And I'm gonna try to stay in frame for this, but you know, you know how it goes. So now I'm gonna be curling my eyelashes and applying mascara. Um, my eyelashes are so tiny, guys, just just be warned, this isn't really gonna do a lot because my eyelashes have been through the ringer with so much time of eyelash extensions. For my lips today, I think this is the duo I'm gonna go with. I have Whirl by MAC. Okay, and then I have this Tart Tartist um, lip paint and this was a Sephora um, birthday perk. So um, I'm not sure what the name of this is. Oh birthday suit. Um, I've used this once and I couldn't tell if I loved the color so um, let me just see what happens because I might end up taking it off. Lip liner on. Lipstick about to be on. See it's very light. I don't know about it. 
Mm -hmm. I never wear colors like this. The thing about this lipstick is that it, I don't, it's called a lip paint, but it doesn't really dry down matte. Like, I feel like it's very transfery, so I feel like I have to talk like this so it doesn't get on my teeth. Now I'm going to go do my hair. Let's see the status of my hair right now, because I might not even do it today. I think I might just leave my hair straight and maybe like put it up in a clip or something, because I really do not feel like curling it. Okay, so I just changed, but first I want to show you what jewelry I'm gonna be wearing today. So I'm gonna be wearing some jewelry from Rock's Box, and look how cute this packaging is. I love this packaging so much. But basically, Rock's Box is a jewelry membership service. So you pay $21 a month, and they send you hand-picked jewelry. I think it's three items, and it comes in this little box. And you can try out the pieces at your house and you don't have to feel pressured to buy it or anything. And it also comes with a prepaid shipping label so it just makes shipping um, and returning super easy. Okay, so in this month's box I got these earrings which are very cute. This little choker which is also just like exactly everything that I love in jewelry, just like dainty and cute. And I also got this little knot cuff bracelet. So if y'all are interested in Rocks Box, you can use the code Kristen Johns XOXO and you can get your first month of Rocks Box for free, which is so, so nice. Okay, now I'm going to take you guys into my room so I can show you my outfit. Here is my outfit all together wearing this jacket that I got from Zara and I'm just wearing a little um, cami from Brandy Melville and these shorts that are from the thrift store that I cut and got into the plant <laughs> my shoes are these little booties from anthropology so this is my full outfit of the day very simple, very denim-y. So that's it for today's video. I really hope that you guys liked it. Thanks for getting ready with me. Um, if you do like Get Ready With Me videos, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I love you guys so much and I'll see you very soon. Bye.